Hi, my name is Cold Bear, and let's start with the Outer Wilds. It was named Game of the Year 2019 by Giant Bomb, Polygon, Eurogamer and The Guardian, so that alone should grab your attention. If it grabs something else or somewhere else, call the police. Here you are, the newest recruit of the Outer Wilds Ventures, a space program searching for answers in a strange, constantly evolving solar system. You will have to find what lurks in the heart of the ominous dark bramble. Who built the alien city on the moon? Well, obviously aliens, but you know what I mean. Can the endless time loop be stopped? And why is potato salad so delicious? Answers await you in the most dangerous reaches of space. Game has overwhelmingly positive reviews, so you can't go wrong with this one. Pentiment. This game looks kinda dumb, but it's made by Obsidian Entertainment. Yeah, the same guys behind Pillars of Eternity, Fallout New Vegas, The Outer Worlds and many others. This is a narrative-driven historical game focusing on character development, with heavily stylized art and choice-driven storytelling in early 16th century Bavaria. You will play as Andreas Moller, a clever illustrator caught up in a series of murders in a secluded abbey over the course of 25 years. You will be responsible for conducting your own investigation to decide the fate of the community, but each decision will have lasting consequences and draws you closer to the center of underlying conspiracy. People on Steam are saying that the writing is top quality, art style is amazing and animations are great. And yeah, the game has an overwhelmingly positive review score as well. Hollow Knight You'll explore twisting caverns, ancient cities and deadly wastes, encounter battle-tainted creatures, befriend bizarre bugs and solve ancient mysteries at the kingdom's heart. Game is hard and is often compared to Dark Souls. Keep that in mind before you fall in love with those lovely graphics. They are quite deadly. Although, if you don't like bugs, you will get your chance to kill a few hundred of them. Or be killed by them. Yeah, that is more likely. There are a lot of bug-like different creatures infesting these lands and only you can exterminate them with your gaming skills. There are also plenty of good bugs as well, so I don't know what this game tries to teach us. I guess be friends with friends and be enemies with enemies. Wisdom, yeah. Deliver us the moon. This is a single-player adventure sci-fi thriller set in an apocalyptic near future, where Earth's natural resources are depleted. A lone astronaut is sent to the moon on a critical mission to save humanity from extinction. And you know, that astronaut is you, so we are all doomed. The story starts when one fateful night all communications with Earth cease to exist and the energy source was lost. Now, years later, you assume the role of world's last hope on a do-or-die mission to investigate what actually happened. You will embark on this adventure with a small robot companion. Together you will traverse the moon, explore abandoned facilities, gather clues and ultimately uncover the secrets and hidden agendas of those long gone. The game is quite short, it will take about 10 hours away from your boring life. It has a very positive review score and if you like space adventures, it may be your spoon of potato salad. Resident Evil 2. This is a complete remake of a classic game. Overwhelmingly positive review score softly hints that it was a complete success as well. Resident Evil 2 offers a fresh take on a classic survival horror saga with realistic visuals, immersive audio and a new over-the-shoulder camera. You will also get modernized controls on top of gameplay modes from the original game. I can still remember when I played the original game when I was 14 years old and somehow I had my mental balls big enough to play it every evening after school. Well, on those rare occasions when I actually went to school. I mean, YouTuber not because I was very good at studying, you know. But I was good at games. That's why you should avoid me if you need your appendix surgically removed. But if you want your boredom removed, I'm your guy, that's for sure. Pillars of Eternity Definitive Edition You can't find this one in the search bar. You have to click on a simple Pillars of Eternity release and then you will find a bundle here. This is a great deal. For this price you will get the main game and all the DLC, so you will have a complete game in one package. Pillars of Eternity is a great title and if you like classic Baldur's Gate or Icewind Dale games, you probably have heard about the game already. Pillars came to life after an unbelievably successful Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign, which raised more than 4 million dollars. That is 4 times more than you have face mites now crawling on your face. Yes, this is a wisdom you never wanted to possess. Now go and share it with your family members, don't be alone in this. So in Pillars of Eternity you become a hero and save people from a scary phenomenon known as Hollowborn. People are being born without a soul. Well, I guess that everyone is affected except people with specific hair color. You know, you can't lose what you don't have. Second part of the game is also discounted, but they are kinda similar in graphics and story quality, so if you never played the first spot, don't skip it. Raft 
build a raft of your dreams and sail into the ocean. That may look like the whole point and story of this game, but your mission is to survive an ocean adventure across dangerous waters, and that won't be easy. Yet trapped on a small raft with nothing but a hook made of old plastic, you awake on a vast blue ocean, totally alone and with no land in sight, with a dry throat and an empty stomach. You will have to gather debris to survive, expand your raft and be wary of the dangers of the ocean. You may play the game alone, which is perfectly fine, or with your friends if you have any. Also with creepy strangers as well. That would add to immersion, don't you think? Imagine, you are on the Titanic, it sinks and you have to share the boat with a dude who obviously thinks of killing and eating you. Immersion over 9000, right? So can you cannibalize your friends here? Well, sadly no. Even if you are very hungry, you will have to eat fish and other stuff you manage to catch. No cannibals here. But with the next patch, who knows? Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition this game reminds me of Witcher but for a younger or, you know, less brutal audience. Because it has somewhat similar battle mechanics, open world full of monsters, many dialogues, third person view and so on. But here you will not find any gore, twisted creepy quests, splattering blood fountains or any nudity. Redhead will never show what she is hiding, here you will get no love affairs, no hot scenes by the waterfall, just robot dinosaurs and indigenous people. I played about 30 hours of this game a few years ago on my PlayStation. I had a great time but I never finished it because I encountered a difficulty spike and I couldn't play anymore without loading a save game that was an hour ago. And I had no intention to do that. So be careful of the places named the cauldron. Make sure your character level is appropriate before entering inside. Hunt Showdown here you'll play alone or in teams as you search for clues to help you track nightmarish monsters and compete against other hunters who are after the same reward. Here you'll have to kill and banish your target, which will be some really horrible monster, but you will treat it as a sack of money instead. Collect the bounty and then get ready for the showdown. Once the bounty is in your hands, every other hunter on the map will be after your prize. Hunt has a very positive review score and it's very addictive, although it has a really steep learning curve and there is a huge chance that you will be shredded to bits by other more experienced players. Despite that, almost everyone is saying that this game is awesome and super fun. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate and Injustice 2 Legendary Edition Bundle if you want to beat your friends, don't hesitate. Show them who the real alpha in your company is. And after that, you may want to buy this amazing bundle and beat your friends in the game as well. And this is an amazing treat for every fighting games fan. Mortal Kombat 11 and Injustice 2 with 6 DLCs combined among them is a thing hard to ignore, especially for this price. Mortal Kombat 11 features the complete 37 character roster, including new additions Rain, Melina and Rambo. And Injustice 2 includes all 10 add-on characters, including Hellboy and and teenage mutant ninja lizards. I'm kidding, I know they are not lizards. They are snakes, everyone knows that. Days Gone this is an open-world action-adventure game set in a harsh wilderness two years after a devastating global pandemic, which made a lot of zombies out of unlucky humans. Here you will take control of a bounty hunter trying to find a reason to live in a land surrounded by death. You will scavenge to abandoned settlements for equipment to craft valuable items and weapons, or take your chances with other survivors. Days Gone has very positive reviews on Steam, so if you like zombies, give it a try. Although, have you ever imagined that somewhere in the universe there's probably a planet of zombies and they are creating horror games about becoming human. And honestly, we actually are pretty terrifying. Aliens Dark Descent in this tactical real-time strategy, you will command a squad of hardened colonial marines to stop a terrifying xenomorph outbreak on a distant, unwelcoming planet. You will lead your soldiers in real-time combat against iconic xenomorphs, rogue operatives from Devious Wayland Yutani Corporation, and a host of horrifying creatures new to the Alien franchise. So here you are, the commander, and soldiers are your weapon. With their help, you will infiltrate large open levels and annihilate enemies with your squad. Tread carefully as your foes will adapt their tactics to your actions. Monsters will be hunting you down and the death here is permanent. You know, like the hunger of your cat or the noises your neighbors make. So if you have a handsome soldier you don't want to lose, you might want to put it behind the others. Although be warned that the aliens can ambush you from behind as well. Dark Descent is an original story filled with iconic xenomorph creatures, ranging from face huggers to praetorians, alien queens and many more. Dark Descent has around 90% of positive reviews 
reviews and people on Steam are saying that this is the perfect game for Alien Universe fans and after the isolation it's probably the best game about Xenomorphs. Red Dead Redemption 2 here you are an outlaw on the run, with federal agents and the best bounty hunters in the nation massing on your heels, you and your gang must rob, steal and fight your way across the heartland of America in order to survive. Well, the main story is all about that, but honestly all you will do here is free ride your horse all over the map, do casual quests for the NPCs you encounter and will be occasionally killed by a bear. There is an urban myth that if you stay completely still in the game, the bear will leave you alone. I never tested that, I usually panic, shoot the bear to the legory but and you know, then I die. This game is serious, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's full of really funny unexpected events and situations. On the other hand, the story is decent and some of your actions have serious consequences. Like, you know, shooting a bear to a butt will have consequences of your death. Main story will take about 50 hours from your boring life and all the online content can take 10 times more. You know, those are the same creators as of GTA games. They really know how to pin your attention for a long time, so be sure you have it. Firewatch this is one of the most immersive games I have ever played. The year is 1989. You are a man named Henry who has retreated from his messy life to work as a fire lookout in a lush forest. An especially hot and dry summer is a great thing everywhere, except where you work. One smoking cigarette butt or one shard of broken glass and this beauty can become a real hell on earth in seconds. This is a game for adults with adult conversation themes. Despite that it is colorful and beautiful and all, it's not made for kids in any way. Wilder Myth game has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, meaning that it is close to a masterpiece and it is blasphemy to ignore it. Literally, you will burn in hell of your religion of choice if you at least don't watch the short overview of Wilder Myth till the end. Or for an atheist, you'll find cat hairs in your coffee all the time, even if you don't own a cat, way worse than hell. So like the best tabletop role-playing experiences, this game gives you choices and answers your every decision with consequences that drive your characters forward. But the best thing is that all heroes here will die someday. Yeah, that is probably not the best thing to be honest, but here you'll get to hold on to your favorites, reintroduce them in the next adventure and over many lifetimes you create your own legendary pantheon. This game is truly great. Black Mesa this is actually a Half-Life, just with better graphics and better, you know, everything. Keep in mind that this is not just a simple remaster, this is a quality remake that expands the scope of the original and massively improves its final chapters. Game is made by fans and it is made so well that it is an owner of overwhelmingly positive reviews. And to be honest, today Black Mesa is the best way to experience Half-Life. No clunky old-school graphics, no compatibility problems, great gameplay and a really interesting suspenseful story. To say short, Half-Life is awesome, and Black Mesa may be the greatest way for you to play it. People on Steam are saying that Black Mesa is one of the best remakes ever made, and the game doesn't give you any reason to disagree with these wise words. The Forgotten City this game, as a lot of gamers point out, is a Groundhog Day in an ancient city. The mechanic here is simple, everyone around you is dying for unknown reasons and you have to stop it. If you fail, and you will fail more than once, you can just go to the portal and restart the day over and over again until you solve the problem of dying so nobody dies anymore. If you think about it, this is a roguelite game just story based instead of combat, and it's really one of the best adventure games there is. I'm not gonna lie, if you go to Steam you will see the overwhelmingly positive review score. Also, fun fact, this game started as a Skyrim mod a long time ago and it was so well received it became a separate kick-ass game. Kingdom Rush Tower Defense this is one of the best rated games on Steam overall. The review score revolves around 97% and that is more than impressive for his simple tower defense game. Well, to call it simple is overstating. It is made so well you will constantly feel rewarded by the decisions you make. So in other words, this is a serotonin factory for your brain. A few years ago I was running an electric scooter rental business in Palanga, one of the resort cities of Lithuania, and this game helped me kill time big time. You know, when you have to sit all day in one place hoping that someone will rent your scooter. That may sound boring, and it was. Well, money was good, but still, the boredom was overwhelming. But when I installed this game on my laptop, I was excited to go to work because I could play it all day, and that was awesome. This game, and honestly, the whole franchise of Kingdom Rush is amazing, and undoubtedly the best tower defense game I have ever tried in my life. I can totally recommend it for you without any doubts. Siberia, the world before. 
Game consists of two parts. In the first one you will play as a girl who is beginning a brilliant career as a pianist. However, shadows begin to appear over her future at the dawn of the Second World War. And the next part of the story will take action to a year of 2004, where you will play as the girl imprisoned in the salt mine. A tragic event propels her into a new adventure in search of her identity. So he will play in both timelines and explore a fantastic and poetic world with its amazing sceneries. One thing I can say for sure, this game is beautiful. Of course, not as beautiful as you my friend, but still looking very good. The art direction is at the top level, and it alone should spike your interest in this adventure game with a great story, especially if you like to solve some complicated puzzles and not crack hardest riddles. Oh yeah, sadly the game is not for the weak, it will squeeze your brain power quite well. And all that is accompanied with a symphonic soundtrack composed by Ainon Zur. You probably know his tracks from Siberia 3, Fallout, Dragon Age and Prince of Persia. Also on Steam you can try the free demo version. Two Point Hospital here you will build and decorate a hospital, cure patients with utterly bizarre illnesses, train your staff and upgrade machines to create the most effective facility possible. Game is humorous, here you will find various funny diseases you can cure, like turtle head, premature mummification, emperor complex or monobrow for example. Yes, that is serious. Also be sure that those illnesses are funny only to us, definitely not for our patients. You wouldn't want a penisitis on your face or assicles all over your body, I'm pretty sure of that. Mad Max this is without a doubt one of the best open world games on Steam. More than 90% of positive reviews are here for a reason. You will play as a lone warrior in a savage post-apocalyptic world where cars are the most important thing, the very key to survival. Anyway, in Mad Max you will find an action-packed open world where you must fight against vicious gangs of bandits to stay alive in the wasteland. You want nothing more than to leave the madness behind and find solace in the mythical Plains of Silence. Along the way in your search you are challenged with treacherous missions and as you scavenge the dangerous landscape for supplies to build the ultimate combat vehicle of your dreams. Sable here you'll embark on a unique and unforgettable journey and guide Sable through her gliding, which is a rite of passage that will take you across vast deserts and mesmerizing landscapes capped with the remains of spaceships and ancient wonders. You'll explore the dunes on your hoverbike, scale monumental ruins and encounter other nomads as you unearth mysteries long forgotten and discover what you're hiding behind your mask. The game is single player only and you can already see that it is a work of art. There is a lot in this world just waiting to be discovered and explored. Lord. People on Steam are talking that the game is a little bit similar to the Breath of the Wild. The world is open and the amount of quests here won't let you get bored. Iron Marines well, it's hard to introduce this game somehow differently than as a flat 2D StarCraft. And you know what? It's great! The art style may look very familiar to some of you because the game is made by the same developers of Kingdom Rush. As I always say, one of the best tower defense games ever made. So here you'll recruit and train the greatest heroes in the galaxy, lead them into dangerous missions against near impossible odds and unleash their mighty powers and abilities. In short, you will get 21 campaign missions across 3 different worlds and each mission will require new tactics and actions to achieve victory. You will have to defeat unique bosses and control 14 different heroes. Game allows you to choose from several difficulty modes, meaning that it can be enjoyed either by noobs or by veterans of the genre. Game is quite funny, filled with easter eggs and more than 70 achievements for you to unlock. People on Steam are saying that if you want to play something like Starcraft but don't want to fry your brain while doing that, Iron Marines is the next best thing. Game has a very positive review score, so this may very very well be what you were looking for after all. Metal Hellsinger the game has 97% of positive reviews and that is insane. You'll kill demons to the rhythm of metal and vengeance on an infernal journey through the eight hells. This is a rhythm first-person shooter bursting with monsters, gorgeous weapons and heavy metal music created for this game by amazing metal geniuses, like Serge Tankian for example. Yeah, Serge himself sings a new song created especially for this game, and you kill demons listening to it. The song was created with the idea behind it that it is meant to be listened to while killing demons. It is hard to wrap my head around this fact and how metal it actually is. So if you like fast-paced first-person shooter games like Shadow Warrior or Doom, search no more. Metal Hellsinger is what you need to kill your boredom with style. Manifold Garden 
The game looks like a creation of AI, where you're prompted to create something 3D, geometrical and physics based. But this game is not just beautiful gibberish, it's an actual game with an expansive and visually striking world filled with mind-bending puzzles. Here you'll have to manipulate gravity to gain new perspectives and walk on any visible surface. You will explore structures that repeat infinitely, and also play with photo mode and make some beautiful art for your office. I'm not kidding, your boss, if he's not a gamer, will approve this quite easily, and if he is a gamer, that will be even easier. It seems that the game was made mostly by one man, and that is a huge achievement. People on Steam are saying that you don't need drugs to feel like you are on drugs while playing this game. Also, it's very satisfying to watch all these structures unfold in front of you. Or should I say, unmanifold in front of you. Crusader Kings 3 he will choose your noble house and lead your dynasty to greatness in a Middle Ages epic that spans generations. War is but one of many tools to establish your reign as real strategy requires expert diplomatic skill, mastery of your realm and true cunning. Begin in medieval times and claim titles, lands and minions to secure a realm worthy of your royal blood. And if you die, that's okay, your lineage continues with new playable heirs, either planned or not. Depends on your combined skill of bad diplomacy and casual diplomacy see while you were alive, but be warned, the game is extremely complicated and it will take you many days to master. Although it has almost endless replayability, it may be the game you play for years and years. Also keep in mind that the prequel of the game Crusader Kings 2 is completely free on Steam and you can try it anytime you want. Sunless Skies here you play the captain of a locomotive, a steam engine fitted for off-rail travel, sailing the stars, leading your crew into trouble and out of their minds. Smuggle souls, barter for crates of time, stop for a cricket and a cup of vodka. Discover more of the deep, dark and marvelous fallen London universe. Also, if you like this one, check out Sunless Sea as well. You can play either game first, the stories coexist happily, just like Bear coexists with its bottle. Sunless Skies is a narrative game, all action is just an addition to a bigger story, be prepared for that. Tainted Grail Conquest this is a unique, infinitely replayable, story-driven hybrid between a deck-building roguelite and an RPG game. Here you'll explore the ever-changing maps, fight with deadly enemies and learn what happened to the cursed island of Avalon. You will find 9 unique hero classes, 460 cards, 340 passive skills, 50 masteries and a lot of other stuff you don't really care to hear about right now if you never play the game. I can say one thing for sure, it's a dark fantasy game with all the dark benefits of it, original monsters and beasts creepy adversaries and fun gameplay away to here. About 90% of the reviews are positive, so it's safe to say that there is a huge chance that you will like the game if you like the genre. People on Steam are saying that this game is gritty, gnarly, dark and worth your money even when it's not on sale. Stasis Bone Totem Perhaps I should start with the fact that the game has an overwhelmingly positive review score on Steam. That is always a great sign. He will take control of Mac and Charlie, a husband and wife duo who make their living by searching the ocean for salvage. But when you stumble upon an abandoned oil rig in the Pacific Ocean, you uncover a horrific secret, and the evil corporation behind it will do anything to keep it hidden. As you embark on your adventure, you will encounter an immersive narrative filled with spine-tingling horror and unexpected twists. Stasis Bone Totem, despite being a psychological horror game, is kinda relaxing because of the point-and-click nature and an interesting puzzles to solve. Darkwood if you could imagine a Lovecraftian forest with all the horrors in it, Darkwood checks all the marks. It is heavily inspired by, for example, Color Out of Space and even has some easter eggs in this field. When I played it, I felt that Kratos probably took a lot of inspiration from Stephen King as well, who is himself a fan of Lovecraft and you can feel the influence in many of his novels, starting from madness infusing Shining to the horrors of the unknown in the mist. So the Darkwood makes you feel that you are trying to survive in one of these stories. Creepy monsters in inhabitants and ever-changing woods surround your every step. By day you collect resources and explore the area, but by night you must barricade yourself in a safe place because various beasts of horror will try to make you, you know, less alive. So every night is a battle for survival, and every day is another chance to make your fortress stronger. Story is great, the gameplay is great, and the game is simply a must-play. Cat Museum 
This is a surreal psychedelic point-and-click puzzle adventure like you have never seen before. If you like cats and original design and artwork aren't your enemies, then this game is probably for you. A museum sits in the middle of nowhere and is guarded by a mysterious cat. You unexpectedly become the manager of the museum and take on the job of repairing it. You must find hidden clues and solve the puzzles all while dealing with this mischievous cat. The deeper you go, the closer you will get to the frightening answers. And there are so many questions, at least in your head. More than 90% of positive reviews and this prize is an irresistible combo. Watch Dogs 2 The funny thing is that a fair amount of gamers who are not familiar with the franchise are thinking that Watch Dogs 2 is a multiplayer game. It is not. Watch Dogs 2 is a single-player only game and is made entirely for your pleasure. You will play as a brilliant young hacker living in the San Francisco Bay Area. You will team up with a notorious group of hackers to execute the biggest hack in history. Take down an invasive operating system being used by criminal masterminds to monitor and manipulate citizens on a massive scale. So you are a good guy guy after all. Not like baddies who hack potato salad recipes and add pineapple to them. A pinch of salt, one spoon of mayonnaise, two chopped potatoes, seven unpeeled pineapples. That is horrible. Anyway, here you can explore the dynamic open world full of possibilities. Hack into every connected device and take control of the city infrastructure. You will develop different skills to suit your playstyle and also upgrade your hacker tools, RC cars, quadcopter drone, 3D printed weapons and much more. People on Steam are saying that here you can actually watch dogs. Also, people are recommending to buy a bit more expensive gold edition instead of a base game to get all the goodies and DLCs. Machinarium this is one of the cutest and coolest puzzle games I have ever played. Although keep in mind that it will truly test your IQ, puzzles here are really hard. Well, they are all crackable, but if you are not a die-hard puzzle fan, it may be a challenging brain spot for you. The world of Machinarium is populated only by robots of various forms and functions. One of the most interesting places in this world is the old, rusty and legendary city where the game takes place. You will have to get rid of wicked robots, save the mayor of the city and also your robot girlfriend. A dream of yours, I know. It's a wonderful game and it has an overwhelmingly positive review score on Steam as well. V Rising in this survival action RPG, you will awaken as a weekend vampire after centuries of slumber. You will hunt for blood in nearby settlements to regain your strength while hiding from the scorching sun and aggressive garlic loaves. You will also have to rebuild your castle from ruins and convert humans into your loyal servants in a quest to raise your vampire empire. People on Steam are saying that the combat here is largely dependent on skill and not on RNG, which is undoubtedly one of the best features of this game. Also, the co-op of the rising is made very well so if you have a friend you have my all recommendations to play this game together and i literally mean together not against each other because the pvp part of the game is pretty boring well for now as i've mentioned the rising is oh i meant v rising is still in early access the pale beyond you never wanted to lead this expedition, but here you are. Stuck on and in the ice, your captain is missing and you are stranded miles from civilization. Someone has to take charge, and that is you, unfortunately. Because, you know, knowing you now, everyone is certainly doomed. You will have to manage your resources, balance safety and morale, make the hard calls and head in the only direction you can, through the pale beyond. Keeping your crew and your dogs safe, fed and warm during the expedition is mandatory. You know, surviving on the ice will matter little in the face of a mutiny. Every vote will count, so keep the crew, at least the majority of it, on your side. Or you will hang and someone else will take the lead, but that won't be your story anymore. This is a wonderful, story-rich game. I can recommend it for everyone who likes games like that without a doubt. Spellforce Free Reforced if you are searching for something like the third Warcraft, search no more. This is a fun mix of RPG and RTS, meaning that most of the time you will control heroes that can gain experience, new skills and all that. Really similar to Warcraft's additional huge maps where you control Rexa. And the other half of the game is traditional base building, unit training and upgrading so you could swarm the enemy with your eternal wrath. Campaigns are really well written so reading and listening for conversations will be the thing you'll do a lot. And I mean it, about a third of the game consists of dialogues. So if you just want quick matches where you can show your insane APM of 20, it's not the case. But if you want story-rich RTS RPG game, this is definitely for you. Wall World 
This is a mining roguelite with tower defense elements and a very affordable price. Here you'll explore procedurally generated mines and discover fantastical biomes, find resources and technologies and purchase valuable upgrades. Fight off hordes of aggressive monsters using your mobile base and roam the world freely day and night in various weather conditions. Find traces of the others and boldly mine where no man has mined before. The game has a really fun concept, beautiful art style and reminds me a bit of a dome keeper. Another beautiful indie game. People on Steam are saying that the game has a great replay value and a bit of a boring ending. But this game is the journey, not the destination. They are billions. It's impossible not to love the visuals of the game, such nice details are usually not present in the games where you look at things from afar. So it's a strategy game set in a distant future about building and managing human colonies after a zombie apocalypse destroyed almost all of humankind. Now there are only a few humans left alive that must struggle to survive under the threat of the infection. Billions of zombies roam around the world in massive swarms seeking the last living human colonies. So you must build a town and protect it from zombies. This is a simple and genius idea. Well, it's surely not new, similar missions of building and defending your base against swarms of enemies were implemented even in the first StarCraft in 1998. I'm not saying that you will enjoy this game for a long time, but in a short period it is a great vaccine against boredom. Just don't let that single zombie slip in. One zombie is all it takes for your city to burn. Be careful, they are billions, but you, you are the last of us. Chronicon. Here you'll find 5 large acts, each with their own storyline, 4 unique classes, procedurally generated dungeons, local co-op for up to 4 players, remote play together support, 400 unique items, 900 skills, abilities and perks, hardcore mode and zillion other things. For many people this is the best action RPG game they have ever tried in their lives and for some it's very simple and boring. So basically it still can disappoint you but the chances are really slim and the price is nice, don't think twice. Bastion. This is an action role-playing experience with a reactive narrator who marks your every move. You can explore more than 40 hand-painted environments, find more than 10 upgradable weapons, enjoy gamepad support and discover the secrets of the calamity, a surreal catastrophe that shattered the world to pieces. Bad thing is that the game doesn't have a huge replay value, even if it has a New Game Plus setting. But for this price, it is one of the best deals you can get. People on Steam are saying that even though this game is quite old, you really can't tell its age. It's not outdated in any way. Great game. With Without a doubt. And now, thank you for watching, and don't forget that in my channel you can find hundreds of videos like that with new ones released almost every day. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!